Hey there, I'm Stephanie Langston for Y'all Wire in Nashville, hanging out with country cutie Chris Young, who's getting ready to kick off his Liquid Neon Tour at the historic Ryman Auditorium. Sold out. Congratulations. I'm excited. I mean, it's, uh, you know, it's a big thing for anybody to get to play that room, first of all, but, you know, to be able to sell it out way in advance. And I've kind of been like, I'm like, get here already, man. It was sold out so long ago. It, it's, uh, it's, it's exciting to have it, you know, really in 24 hours and be on that stage playing. And got Thomas Rhett and Joanna Smith with us, so it's it's going to be a cool kickoff to the tour. You did sell it out very quickly, and this is your first headlining tour. Um, what made you decide to do it so close to hometown? Um, you know, really just what that room is. I've seen so many people there. Like, I've bought, you know, paid money that, you know, I didn't really have probably when I was in college to go see people play there, and there's just such a history with that room, you know, tied to country music and music in general. That, uh, that just seemed like the right place to kick it off. That seemed like the, the cool thing to do. And, and uh, you know, it's a little nerve wracking being your first headlining tour just because, you know, I have all the power to do whatever I want with the show. We can organize it, have whoever we want out on the road with us. But, uh, you know, if you don't sell tickets, that's on you too. <laughs> it's not like I can go, well, it's somebody else's tour. It's not me. But um, it's, it's exciting to, to have it do so well. And, and um, you know, I'm just ready to get down to it. I think we've got about uh, 10 dates going through December, at least for this year, possibly some more stuff next year. Well, I know this has been a goal you've been fighting for for a long time. I was just telling you that I interviewed you and you auditioned for Nashville Star. So it's been a, a long following of your career, no doubt. Did you ever expect that you would sell out the Ryman? Um, you know, I, I think we were hoping so, but yeah. you know, especially to sell it out in advance. I mean, it, there's there's something extra cool about that, and and being you know like hometown area for me, being from Murfreesboro, and you know it's really Nashville area. I grew up here, and um, it's 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 nice. I mean, I hoped I would, but you never you're never gonna go. Oh yeah, it's gonna sell out. Definitely. Right. So it's um it's it's fun. I'm looking forward to it, and uh, it's it's been a lot of work getting ready for it. We're definitely doing some stuff that's gonna be different. Uh, then some of the stuff we've done before, we're doing a lot of new stuff that I've never played off of some of the records, just album tracks that I've, I've never you know, played out live, and uh, changed up some of the, uh, the songs that we're already doing. So it'll be neat for anybody that's seen me before or hasn't seen me. It's just going to be a nice show. Whenever you headline a show like this, I guess you have to put in a lot more elements to the production because you have to kind of carry the show. Yeah. So is that what you mean when you see there's going to be a lot more to your show? Um, yeah, there's going to be, like I said, just completely different songs than people have heard if they've seen us before. And all of the production has changed a little bit because when you change, I think we changed like seven or eight songs in the set. So when you do that and then you change how you're playing some other stuff, obviously the production changes. and. Um, we're definitely getting to use all of our, our stuff that we have that we've we've bought this year. We've kind of stepped up a lot in that, that area of having lights and having a lot of other stuff that goes on, and smoke and stuff like that. So it's um, it's cool to see it all run. So I, I think people are going to be excited. People are going to be, uh, be really impressed with it, hopefully. I'm assuming there'll be lots of neon stuff. And I overheard you say that uh, on this tour, you've been getting some neon panties out there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the we have, we've gotten neon underwear thrown at us recently. So that's... It's nice that people are, are color coordinating and thinking ahead before they come to the show. Good, good looking out. So I know you're <laughs> recently voted, um, what, one of the sexiest men alive and people for the week? Yeah, people put that in there. That's what's funny is I knew that that happened because uh, people started texting me about it. Because uh, it was in, you know, the, I was like, okay, so it's people. It's like the, the country episode. They're like, no, like the, the normal one. I picked it up and you're in it. Please get out of my magazine. It's like <laughs> friends of mine. But uh, no, it's, it's a cool thing. And. Um, you know, we've kind of got a, a, a sexy love song out right now with the new single. I can take it from there. So it, it works. It timed out pretty good. What would you say um, is sexy about yourself? Uh, you know what? I pay for dinner. I'll take you out to dinner. I'm paying. So uh, <laughs> That is sexy. That works. That's something. Talk about your new single. Uh, you know, I wrote this with, with uh, Thomas Rhett's dad, Rhett Akins. Rhett, you're old if you see this. Uh, no, I wrote it with, uh, with Rhett and Ben Hayslip, and um, I, I was really glad we got to this because I knew we might get a chance to go four singles deep off this record, and uh, as soon as we did, I, I wanted you know, this to, to be the single. So I was, I was really glad we got to this one, and um, you know, it's, it's a crowd favorite when we play out live, so hopefully people are enjoying it out on the radio if they're hearing it yet. 
awesome. You've done so well with Neon. It's been one of those things I'm like, finally, I feel like it was a really great year for you. Congratulations and everything. But of course, meeting the media and fans, they all want to know what's next already. So are you working on that next project? Yeah, I mean, my next album's basically done. So I kind of have like singles picked out and... Um, you know, I'm not saying we will, but who knows? If they're coming out to the, the Liquid Neon tour, they might hear some stuff they've never heard before. So everybody should go out there and see you. And you get to come home for a little Christmas break? Yeah, I'm gonna. I always make a point. Thanksgiving and Christmas, I'm here. And uh, you know, my sister had a baby, so I've got a niece, I've got a little niece now that I get to go see and hang out with. So, get a little bit of family time in before we get back out on the road next year. Wonderful. Were there anything you're looking forward to the most about Christmas this year? Um, probably the angry looks right before my parents realize they're really happy with the gift because I've <laughs> spent too much on my parents this year. They told me not to, and I did anyway. Wait, you've already shopped. Oh, I've shopped already. No, I'm not done, but I've I've done some. I've done a couple of cool things. I guess with your vis busy touring schedule, you kind of have to knock it out early. Yeah, I was trying. Well, I was trying to prep because I know it's like Thanksgiving, and then everybody we do Black Friday in my family. We all go out and Black Friday shop. So if you see somebody with neon orange shoes, it might be me. <laughs> do you get harassed <laughs> out in public at all? No, no. Everybody's really cool about it. The past couple of years, I, I did the whole like stand in line and wait for a store to open thing. It's. Uh, we bought everybody coffee. They were cool with that. Good to know. Chris, congratulations on everything. I'm very excited to see your show. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I can take it from there. I can take it from there.